you don't need to know. You don't need to know what's coming next, where you move towards to. You don't need to know how to resolve something. You don't need to know. In this video, we go to that space where we drop our suffering and where we drop expectations because that is uh, keeping us all in the loop of the matrix. So we're dropping that and we go to that space of not needing to know and really attract that into your life, what is in your highest good and the highest good of all. Are you ready for a bit of a ride? And before we go into it, I want to ask you to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because that really helps me sharing this with more people. Enjoy. It is interesting that I make these videos without preparation, just see what comes up in the moment. And they're often absolutely powerful. And then just a few minutes before I go on and silence myself, my head is racing. What am I going to talk about? Oh, maybe this, that. And, and other part of me, I don't need to know. It will be knowing, it will come to me. The moment I, as a human, surrender to, I like to say, my higher self, my wisdom, that higher wisdom, or in connection with any other higher wisdom, extraterrestrials or ascended masters, but more and more it is my own higher wisdom. It will be present. It is me needing to trust it. We're so used to hold on to something, to know where we're going or what are we going to say, why we do something, right? Um, so my name is Alice Roord. I'm a spiritual psychologist and I make these videos every week for star seeds and light workers to support you in your self-realization to support you in you shining your light and most of all to support you to shine your light in all aspects of your life it's you first and then the rest absolutely <laughs> i want to see what comes through today and how i do that is the following i'm opening a portal of loving light of source energy of high frequency and may that come through the information, the wisdom, the guidance, the support that is needed for us, star seeds here at this moment in time, to hear, to know, to witness, to upgrade to whatever it is that is needed. Beautiful. So give it a moment so I can tune in. Uh, so if you don't know me, yeah, my body always moves with all the energy that comes through, all the movements are guided often to help me to go to this higher frequency. So here we are. Here you are, you beautiful being. You beautiful being of light. Here you are supporting this planet with all your beingness. So many of you are here to support this planet from love, from compassion. And many of you are so tired doing it because you're doing too much. You're doing too much. What will bring your energy and not drain your energy is um, being. Just stay in your state of beingness. Just be, without needing to do anything. And you might know how that feels when you do meditation. You might know how that feels when you swim in the ocean. You might know how that feels when you walk in nature or when you paint a beautiful painting or create something else. You might know how it feels to be in that moment and create. That is where you feel so connected with your light. That is when you're in the presence in that moment. And it doesn't mean if it doesn't matter if it feels in a low vibration or high vibration, none of that matters. It's you in that moment being you, doing you exactly the way it needs to show up. So in those moments, I don't know why I get emotional because it's so pure and beautiful. <laughs> so here we are. You know when you are in your zone, when you are connected with all that is that you are. When you forget everything around you, when you're just doing this one thing in this moment in time. 
like you now watching this, but if you also think of the things to do or you write some things down and say, yeah, do one thing at the time and say, I'm busy, I'm coming to you in a moment once I'm done here. Thank you, thoughts, for reminding me. I'm going to pause you now for a moment. I come back to you when I'm finished with this or anything else that you do in Put Out Matter. You beautiful being. You're absolutely a gorgeous, beautiful, loving being. I'm feeling your essence. I'm talking to your essence. And yes, to your human as well trying to grasp it, trying to hold on to something, trying to understand what is going to come, what do I need to know, where do I need to orient myself. And in that state of beingness, when you are swimming in the ocean and are one of the ocean, are you thinking about how you do that? Or do you need to hold on to anything at that moment? Or are you just one with the ocean at that moment? I think it's the latter. Right? That oneness with all that you are in that moment. And I want to say that is where you want to strive to as a human. So how to achieve being in such a moment? We can't swim in the ocean all day. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be wonderful? We can't become dolphins. We are this human in this beautiful human suit. You in that human suit. Can't swim in the ocean all day. So how are you connecting to all that you are? In any moment in time, is sink into it. That feeling that you have when you are in connection, when you are in the moment, being it, you painting a picture, writing a book, uh, watching something without thinking of other things, just be in that moment. And most of the time we do that when we are creating something. Right? Even it being a project that you're starting and you're so involved with it. Ah, yes, like I am now, Alice. Um, I'm creating a five day journey to live your most amazing life, your most amazing aligned life. It's a, it's a five day challenge. I call it the five day journey. Come join if that aligns with you. And I'm so in the moment, I'm so excited about it to bring that forth and to do that together with a beautiful group of people. Most of them star seats. But let's come back to being in that moment, in that joy, in that where then everything starts to flow with such ease and grace, such ease, such joy. Yes. So it can be a project that you do or walking in nature, being in places where the energy is high or sitting in meditation. Here you are, beautiful being, beautiful, gorgeous being. I just need to repeat that apparently. Beautiful, inspiring, high frequency being. Here you are on this planet, ah! on this beautiful, amazing planet to shine your light, to be your light. So what is stopping you from being your light? Is it your story? Is it your humanness? Is it your attachment to your patterns? Is it you wanting to, and that's why I figure it is, you wanting to hold on to things. Uh, it's like on a climbing world, there are all these grips that you can hold on to. That's why we want holding on to grips in our life. So we bring meaning to it. We understand this. And when you are in that moment, when you swim in the ocean, you are one with it. You don't hold on to anything. And I like the analogy of the ocean because there's nothing to hold on to. No, you're there alone in that ocean, just being in that moment, one with it all. Or doing your project or um, walking in nature or creating something, whatever it is. You being in that moment, connecting with all that you are and in that moment is where there is pureness where there is stillness where there is allness and this is the moment we want you to 
bring forth. <laughs> this is the moment, or this is the energy, this is the beingness, the state of beingness that we want you to bring forth. We being 12 dimensional light beings where we connect with often, which is part of me in a way. That is what you want to bring forth. And the way to do that is to, the same as you know as being in that moment, to let go of the need to use a handle. Let go of the need that you need to know where you're going, how you're going somewhere. <laughs> Maybe you want to know why, but you might, let me give an example. You might have a project, like I now have a project. I'm doing a five day journey to live your most aligned life, your most amazing aligned life, where I use a lot of my uh, teaching. It's for free, so join if that resonates. I'm so much in the presence of that. You being in the presence of whatever you're doing, whatever you're focused on, whatever you're busy with, whatever you're in flow with, doesn't need any handles. And it flows even better if you let go of it, right? I'm allowing it to happen. And I don't really care if there's a few people there or more. There's more signing up, but yo, it's all good. <laughs> There's only the idea, this is what I want to create. And then I go and start creating that. I really enjoy it. That is the energy, right? And that is the energy what I bring forth. And that's why it works. That's why people come. That's what attracts. And not I don't do it because it attracts, but that is how this thing works. That's why it flows, right? The joy of it. Stay in the joy with whatever you're doing. Let it bring us back to you, back to your fun and your joy. You might say, but I'm not feeling it. Let me tune into this energy. There is a lot of joy. I'm tuning into the energy of all that that will watch this video. You can tune into the energy of what is coming, right? I feel there is also a lot of joy and a lot of disappointment. Mm. And it might not be the same one in the same person, but there's also a bit of disappointment. Let me tune into that. A bit of disappointment that mm -hmm. you thought life would be different. You, you expected you being on your beautiful spiritual journey by now for it to show up in your life, right? The finances to show up, the beautiful partner to show up, the home, the, the, the project or whatever you put into the world to grow and be there. Now you feeling fulfilled. You would have expected that by now. And there's a bit of a disappointment or the disappointment if that element, yes, for sure. But even a bigger disappointment of the state of the world right now. Although, you know, it is all part of the ascension, right? The darkness will catapult us into the light even more. So yes, but there is that disappointment. It's, it's a perception and you can only be disappointed if you had an expectation. You expected it to be different. And now the interesting part of it is you created an expectation and the reality didn't meet that expectation. And now you're disappointed. You <laughs> created something in your mind out of thin air that then became a thing, an expectation. The world needs to be such and so, or that person needs to be such and so, or my project needs to be that successful, or my finances need to be such and so. It is your expectation. And then the expectations are not mad and you feel bad about it. I'm just giving that as an example, all right? Your expectations that you created out of thin air. But you might say, but Alice, I, I'm struggling on my own. I need someone to support me with that. Or I'm struggling finance, financial. I hear you. And it's shitty, right? But you're struggling, you're, on, you're saying that, you're feeling that, you're experiencing that, is creating even more. And that sounds shitty as well. Let me back up on that. Yes, let's back up on that. 
just raising my frequency. So I can tap into some more higher consciousness. <laughs> We need some higher wisdom here. So if you out of thin air put on expectations how things should be and you disappoint yourself, is it then a good idea to put those expectations? What if you would let go of that? And if you're then suffering from the reality that you're in, what do you want to um stay in that do you want to bathe in that do you want to that to be your whole reality i'm poor or i'm ill or i am whatever the i am you're connected with you're none of that but that might feel like that your human is having a difficult suffering experience your higher consciousness would think wow that's an amazing experience is that where you want to have more of? Okay, yeah, sure. And what do you mean, I want to have more of it? You are bathing it, you are with it, you are entangling with it. This is what your um, energy is in. And what you focus on and where your energy is focused on is what you create more of. So what if we just drop all of that? The bathing in the suffering and in the lack and not having it all and not being enough and all of that. And identifying with that. The expectations that you might have for things to be different. Can we drop all of that? Just imagine it's there, it's on your hand. Poof, and you're dropping it. Expectation, poof dropping it just as a decision right that makes sense that is a decision i don't know how it works but that is what i want right and so it is i want to drop this and so it is and then you drop your expectations and so it is and so it is that that is what you put in your energy field. I dropped it. It's dropped. It's being dropped. I have dropped it. What did I drop? I don't even remember. So let's stop thinking about that for a moment and then step in this space together, in this space of nothingness, in this space of no expectation, in this beautiful space of beingness. So what if there is a part of you and there is. What if there is a part of you, your higher consciousness, your higher self, your soul, that knows how to do life, that knows how to guide you through life, and it also knows how to do life, but it knows how to guide you through life in the most grace, graceful way. So what if you just trust that part of you that knows it already, that has so much freaking wisdom, Instead of you trying to figure it out and to hold on to things because that is limiting you. You have done that your whole life. How well did that go? I mean, I think you have enough evidence for that not bringing you to where you really want to be. And again, expectation, poof, let's drop that. How you want your life to be, poof, thank you, let it go. Because we are here to be realized, to become, your, to be your light, to be really connected to your higher self, be your higher self, realize you are your higher self having that human experience and really live life from that higher consciousness. It is possible. I know, I'm living it um, and it's still, uh, uh, how you say it, there's still more progress to be made always. The people I work with are living it. And you can as well. Okay, I'm drifting off. Let's come back. So what if we let go of all that and just step in that space of nothingness? That space of not needing to know. And that's really a beautiful mantra to say to yourself many times a day when you, your human tries to figure it out or plan things or trying to know or whenever things are a bit in your life and it's not just going easy, drop it. And so it is. 
and, and have then the mantra, it's just a suggestion, I don't need to know. That part of me, my higher self, knows. And I'm leaning into that. Because that, then you will feel in your life, there, if I go a bit to the right, when I do that, mm, it doesn't feel nice. It feels mm, difficult and complicated and I'm getting a headache even going in there. Drop it. And so it is. Okay, let me be more practical. So I feel like, yeah, I want to go and visit the neighbor. I'm going to go and visit the neighbor. It just pops up. And But, but then my ego kicks in but what if the neighbor's not home and maybe it's a bit strange to just appear like that making it difficult and complicated but there was this beautiful brilliant idea it's light it's easy that is your intuition go with it because probably there is something there at your neighbors that is there for you because your whole life is there for you and if it's a lot of difficulties in your life, it's there to show you there's still a lot of difficulties in your life. There's still a lot of things that you can drop and let go of and go with where the flow takes you, right? Just by dropping it. And so it is. And you stepping in that place like, okay, I don't need to know. Higher self, soul, show me the way. Or let me know what is the next step. And then you don't sit on the couch and wait for it. You just might move a bit there and then you feel, oh, that one feels light. Let me take that road. And it's even with those like, I have things I need to do. I just imported my car from Spain. Um, I was in France, but it was still registered in Spain to the Netherlands. And now I have a few practical things I need to do. And every time I think that would be really, really important if I do that now. I'm not going to name what it is because it's, it's too ridiculous. I'm not doing it. But there's practical things that need to happen with that, right? It is logic. Why don't I do it? And I'm, every time I think about it, I feel like uh, I'm not doing it. And there's going to be a moment that I feel, oh, now is the opening, now is the time, and then is what I do it, and then it's often done in no time. When I feel like, oh, it's heavy, let me do it anyway, it takes a long time, and it's not going with ease, and I take forever, and I'm a frustrated, is that, I don't want to go there. I go when I feel to go. And is that always smart? I don't know. <laughs> I don't need to know. Right? I just follow the threads. I just follow the breadcrumbs. And it will all work out fine. Beautiful, beautiful element of that is to show you how it works all fine. And going with the flow, I uh, needed to change my uh, number plates for my car. And looking for places in Amsterdam to change that. And I, one was closed when I drove there. The other one, I had to put something online, put all my information and then wait for their response. Never came. So days went by. Then I was like, oh, this is not going to work. I really need to change my number plates. I can't be, keep on driving with my Spanish number plate. So I then look a bit out of Amsterdam where I live. It's like, oh, that's one place. And I called them. They're available. I went there. Super easy. I changed it there. And... Um, it was half of the price that I would have paid for in Amsterdam. Beautiful. And then while I uh, parked my car there, I walked around the corner. I was like, oh, this is a place where I could do the inspection. Let me walk in and ask them if they have time. And normally everything in the Netherlands, I don't know where you live, is the same. But everything has a waiting list for a long time. It's a month later or sometimes even more, right? I come there and he says, I have a place at three o'clock today. And I'm like, what? Yeah, it just came open, that space. So in one day, I got everything done. It's like, whoa. Normally, it would have been so much more effort. Right? So the part where it didn't work well, and it got a bit frustrated, is also for me. Right? That is there, so I move to the one that is where it's the opening is and the flow is. So if there's things not working in your uh, life, it's not against you. It's also for you. So you move a different direction. So let me have another practical example from you. 
Okay, financial issues. There's no financial issues, right? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. There's no financial issues. Yes, but still wait. Hold on for a moment. Hear me out. In the matrix, there are financial issues. In that space where you are in the zone, when you are working in flow, where you are connecting with all that you are, all day, every day, as much as you can, there are no financial issues. Yes, but I need to pay. I know. But yes. Can you drop that? I need to. And it's the bill is coming and, and I eviction of my house, whatever. Can you drop that for a moment? And so it is. I dropped it. It's not out of your life. I know. But I want you to connect to and trust that your higher self has your back. You are your higher self. You got your humans back. And if you can lean into that, not by, I'm not paying it, I'm not, and I'm worrying, I'm worrying, I'm still here, right? I'm still bathing in that suffering. As long as you're there, please go and pay your bill and figure it out. As long as you can't get out of there and that's your only reality, then you need to work with what is there. But if you're able to drop that, so it is, and step in that space of connection with all that you are. And if you really don't know how to do that, come to my five day journey, please. I'm getting you there, it's free. Then from that space, leaning into your higher self, saying the mantra, I don't need to know. I don't need to figure it out. I don't need to know. And if you can be in that space of surrendering to that all knowing that you are, if you manage to trust that, things will work out. But again, if you feel you can't make that shift yet and you're still in that suffering and panicking, do figure it out there, right? Whatever way. But the easier way would be if you manage to do that is really to drop it all go to that space i don't need to know be in that connection with your higher self lean into that and allow it to unfold now maybe the unfolding of things is you getting evicted from your house i'm not saying your solution will be there the way you think it should show up the solution is what is in your biggest and highest interest the solution is if what is in your highest purpose and that might be that you lose your house if that might be that there will be another solution money coming in from the strangest ways it might be whatever comes through is what is best for you in your highest good so accept that it's not maybe the outcome that you have in mind because we're dropping the outcome. And so it is. But whatever happens is always in your best interest. It's always in your highest good and highest good for all. If you're ready to step into that, and it will be if you are in the suffering uh, soup that you are, in, in, in that space and you move to this one. Yeah, it's going to be a bit chaotic because things will ha have, things will let go. Yeah, <laughs> you are letting go of things, but things also let go of you, right? Being at the partner, being friendships, being um, the finances, being whatever it is. And you being in that trust. And if you want to really step into that, and I want to say own that space of, I don't need to know, I'm allowing my higher self to come through. Here's a statement that can be helpful for you as well. So we have that, I don't need to know. And this is the one, listen first. And then we um, put that as an intention together if you want. So it goes like this, higher self, please attract those experiences, resources, and information to me. That, in my high, that are in my highest good and the highest good for all and let go of the rest. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, 
We can do this together, but just be aware that there's things that might drop out of your life that are not in that alignment with all that you are not in your highest good, right? So be ready for that. I know it's a lot in just a short video, right? But if you want to do that, I want to ask you to just go in that state of gratitude or love so that you raise your frequency while we put this intention. So just raise your emotions to gratitude or love. Beautiful. And then repeat out loud after me. Hire yourself. Please attract those experiences, resources, and information that are in my highest good and the highest good for all. And let go of the rest. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now let it unfold. You don't need to know. Beautiful, beautiful being. It was an honor to uh, be with you, spend this time together. So much love and I'm looking forward to see you next time. And if this is something you like, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs ups are really, uh, I can put that later in the screen maybe. Beautiful, beautiful being. It was beautiful to connect with you in this way. I want to ask you if this is something you like, please give it a thumbs up so more people get to see it with the algorithm. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment. Beautiful, beautiful being. It was a pleasure to connect with you here through this space. And if this is something you like, please give it a thumbs up. That helps the algorithm and more people can see it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a comment of how you feel. Much, much love. And I'm looking forward to connect with you next time. Bye bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.